In this video, we'll show you how to seal a fuel tank using KBS Tank Sealer. All right, now we have another gas tank that here that we're going to work on. Uh, we've already done the cleaning process on the inside of the tank. And the next step is going to be we're going to go ahead and take the quart of tank sealer and we're going to open it up and we're going to stir it up. And we're going to show you how to properly open the can. You just want to go a little bit around, all the way around the can. I might have to go around a couple, three times until that lid loosens up. Okay. Like so. And then we're going to stir it up. Now we want to make sure we're stirring bottom to top. Uh, not only in a circle. Because then you get a nice even mix with the tank sealer. And as you can see there's a heavy metallic there. So you're always going to have those black streaks. Which is only the, the metal flake. So it's all okay. Once we've got it thoroughly mixed... We're going to go ahead and we're going to pour this quart uh, into the tank. And then we're going to methodically roll the tank until it, the whole inside is coated. And then we'll pour out your excess. And we're going to use a funnel to make sure we don't make a, make a mess here. And we're, going to, we're going to pour it in the filler spout. Like so. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to take the tank and methodically roll it around. Well, I guess we're going to have to seal that off first so we don't spill it all over ourselves. Duct tape works very well. If you use a high quality duct tape, uh, you'll find that that makes a big difference. Seal that up good. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to take the tank, and let's see if we can get a good picture of what you're doing here. Alright, so we're going to move it on its bottom side, move it all in one direction, get it to run to that side. We're going to need to get it to run to the other side. We want to make sure we get it get it in the seams too. But anyway, I guess you'll get the idea here. We want to continually rotate this tank. Uh, we want to get a good coating on the inside. And then we're going to pour out the excess. So once we get to that point to where we're going to pour out the excess, then we will be back uh, to show you. Okay, we're to the point of draining the tank. We've already sealed the inside been rolling it around for almost two hours making sure that the whole inside is coated um we just did overkill on that one but uh <clears throat> now we're draining it now what we what he's done is take the wire connector and just cut the end off so that in fact your wire connector is still screwed in there protecting the threads but yet the tank sealer will come out so once it completely quits running out then we're going to continually rotate, flip-flop that tank about every 15 or 20 minutes until the tank sealer stiffens up. All right, and once we get to that point, we will be back. Okay, we're back with the tank. Now, we've already drained the tank, um, and it took mm, 35, 40 minutes out of the drain hole here. 
uh, before it quit running out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip-flop the tank about every 15-20 minutes until that tank sealer stiffens up. So we're going to go from side to side. Um, we'll let it sit on this side for approximately 15 to 20 minutes and then put it up on its top um, and roll it. And you're going to want to just do this, like I said, about every 15 to 20 minutes. That's going to be important until that tank sealer stiffens up. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. We hope you find these money-saving and time-saving tips useful.